Hey everyone! Welcome to yet another video where I'm just sitting on my bed, chilling, hanging out with my friends. Um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a nice, easy breezy uh, spring look. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for me, once it starts rolling into the warmer months of the year, I like to kind of switch up my makeup routine and have it be a little lighter, um, just because I have sensitive skin and I don't like the feeling of having a ton of heavy makeup uh, when it gets warm outside just because it's just not a good look for me. So I thought I would show you guys a nice, easy little tutorial on how to create a nice, fresh, Okay, here I am everyone. Um, my camera keeps saying that my car is full when I know for a fact it's not, so let's just hope and pray that we get through this video. I kind of feel like we might not. But. So I always start off with priming my skin. Um, I have already washed and moisturized, um, which I recommend doing before you put on your makeup just because it makes it go on a little bit easier. Um, in my case at least. But yep, start off with a little bit of my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm going to focus it on my nose and right below my under eyes. And then I'm just gonna kind of spread it out from there. I'm going for more of like a natural, kind of just fresh looking kind of a deal moment. Um, I'm going to go for more of like a bushier eyebrow look. Um, so, just making, brushing the hairs up and making it look nice and wispy. I have my brows on. I always like to take my concealer and just clean up around the edges. There we go. The next step is to prime your lids for some shadows. I always use my Urban Decay Primer Pro Potion. Sorry that a lot of the products that I use are just like total repeats, but you know, I'm not a beauty blogger. Um, I don't have endless amounts of cashola to be dropping on makeup, although I wish I did. Um, that is not the case. As per usual, I'm going to be taking a matte uh, cream shade and just fluffing that all over my eyelid to set the primer. The eye look that I'm going to be going for today is going to be super, super simple, super wearable. It is not going to be yellow and orange eyeshadow smeared all over the lid like I normally go for. I always like to start with a nice transition shade, just give all the other colors something to kind of blend into to make everything look nice and seamless. I'm going to be going into my Metal Matte Palette from Kat Von D, and I'm going to be taking this peachy shade called Fringe right here, and I'm just going to be kind of fluffing that. Um, just right above the crease, just again to give something, um, to give all the other colors a shade to blend into. Okie dokie. Next, I will be taking my Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. We're going to be taking the shade Nooner, and I'm going to take this little kind of mini blending brush and I'm going to be taking a little bit of that, tap off the excess um, to make sure you don't go in too heavy handed, and then I'm going to start on the outer corner of the crease and move it in towards the center. And I'm kind of dragging it down towards the center of my lid. I'm gonna take my clean um, blending brush that I have on hand and just kind of blend uh, any harsh edges. I'm going to be taking this pencil brush here um, and then I'm going to be going into the color Suede, which is just a light tan color, and take a little bit of that. 
and put it on the very outer corner of my eye. I'm trying to just really focus it right there just to build some more depth. Then lastly, I'm going to go into this shade called Glitz. It's like a pale, kind of a pale pinky, pearlescent kind of a color. Um, and I'm just going to take my finger for this and I'm just going to pat it all over the lid. I'm going to take that same shade that I put all over my lid and I'm just going to pop that in my inner corner real quick. And I'm going to take the excess on the brush and just kind of put it, lightly dust it um, under my brow bone just a little bit. I'm not putting a whole lot under there, just using whatever's left on my brush. From here, this is where things get a little interesting. Normally, this is when I would start to put on my foundation. However, today I'm not going to be uh, wearing any foundation. I will be wearing concealer, and I'm going to kind of show you guys how to um, do the rest of your makeup without foundation because I do it a little bit differently. Um, so I'm going to start by taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This stuff is amazing. I'm trying to use it up though because these people test on animals and I don't want to buy from them anymore, but I don't want to waste because that's not good either. So I'm using the last of this and then I'll move on to something else we will see. I'm going to take that and whereas normally I would kind of bring it down in a triangle, I'm going to concentrate it just where I have my dark circles. And I'll bring it down a little bit, but not nearly as much as I as I would um, if I were wearing foundation and doing like a full face of makeup. Okay, I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge and just blend that puppy out. When I'm doing my concealer, I like to first put concealer on one eye and blend it out. And then once I'm done blending it out, I take my setting powder. Um, I use the RCMA No Color Powder and I just like to immediately set it down um, before I do the other eye. And before I put down the setting powder, I just like to make sure that I tap out any creases that have formed and then I lightly just go in. So now once you have that done, you can kind of go in with your concealer and just spot conceal. Um, I'm actually going to put a little bit on my chin just because that's an area I want to brighten a little bit. Um, I have some little zitsies on my nose, so I'm just going to just dab on the tiniest bit of product. I'm really trying to keep it as minimal as I possibly can, um, just because it's not fun to have a bunch of product on your face when you're out in the sun or, you know, when you get warm. It just feels gross. So, blend that out. much much better. I'm just gonna lightly tap over my chin and my nose just to set the concealer that I put down. Now what I'm going to do, and this is kind of weird, I actually learned this trick from um, Jay Kissa. She is an awesome makeup artist. I love her. She uses only cruelty free brands which is amazing. Um, she's actually from Portland randomly um, which is really cool. She lives in LA now but she's from Portland originally which is awesome. Um, and I learned this from her because she doesn't wear foundation at all. So what she does is she takes a setting powder and she'll just kind of dust it in the area that she knows she's going to lay down her bronzer and, you know, your contour, whatever you're going to use. Um, and it's supposed to just help whatever you lay down um, blend a little bit better so it's not super patchy. Because if, sometimes if you put like bronzer on without, um, you know, foundation under it, it can look kind of skippy and patchy. And this should just help it like blend a little bit smoother um, into your skin. So I'm going to be taking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light. I have the light one because I'm a light one. This bronzer, you guys, smells like a tropical getaway. Every time I smell it, I feel like I'm on, like, a beach, drinking a pina colada under the hot Mexican sun. So take the bronzer if you're choosing. I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And take your favorite bronzer brush, swirl it in there, tap off the excess, 
And then we're just gonna kind of warm up our face a little bit. If you don't have hilarious page boy bangs like I do, you can take the bronzer up around the perimeter of your forehead, but because my bangs are covering it, um, there's no real point in adding extra product, especially if no one's gonna see it. Um, so you can do that if you don't have hilarious bangs like I do. You can't stop putting on the bronzer. You can contour if you would like. I don't really want to right now. I'm not feeling the contoured look. I'm gonna leave my nose alone like how it is right now. Okay, so, um, when I don't wear foundation, I find that I really like using cream products cause, just because like sometimes I feel like powder products don't stick very well unless you have that foundation. So for my highlight and my blush, I'm going to be using like cream liquid products. So for my highlight, I'm going to be using High Beam by Benefit. I'm just going to take this guy, it has a little brush applicator. And I'm just going to be putting it on the high points of my cheeks. And then I'm just going to use my finger to blend that out. Just tap it in. Take some on my cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to take the excess and put it on my nosy. You could stop here with the highlighting, but um, seeing as my goal in life is to be able to be seen from the moon, I'm going to take another highlighter. I'm actually using an eyeshadow. It's the shade Ara in the Lime Crime Venus palette. I think you guys saw in one of my other makeup videos, I tried it out as a highlighter. Turns out it's the best freaking highlight in the whole world. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on top of the high beam um, just to kind of intensify it a little bit for one. And then also it should kind of help set that cream product now we look nice and like dewy and fresh. The next thing I'm going to be using is called Benetint. It is also from Benefit. It actually came with this guy. Came with another little like lip and cheek stain like this guy called Cozy Tint. I don't know what I did with that one. Um, I've had these literally since I was like a freshman in high school so they've lasted a really long time. The full size bottles are pretty spendy but if you're thinking about buying one of these, especially this one, it will last you ages so um, it's a good investment if you ask me, if you want it at least. So I'm going to be using this as a lip stain as well as cheek stain. Um, I love this stuff because it smells like roses. Um, this stuff is kind of weird to use just because it's really liquidy. It's not a cream like the highlighter is, it's like a straight on liquid. And so what I like to do, and you have to be kind of quick about this because it dries really fast, but um, I just like to take a little bit of this guy, take the little brush, put it on the apples of my cheeks. And then take your finger very quickly and just blend it out. Whoa, this one got... Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. The other side went so well though. If that ever happens, just take your sponge and just kind of tap it over. And then you can also take like some translucent powder and just kind of like run it over that to smooth it out. There we go. Now we're good. We were looking like a clown there for a second. We're gonna do the lips and we're also going to be using this. Um, this has been like my favorite lip combo for the past couple weeks. I can't stop doing this and I call it the popsicle lip. <laughs> so I take this and I just put it in like the center of my lips. Kind of tap it out. And then I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme which is a plumping lip gloss. It's just clear. Um, if you don't like lip glosses that make your lips tingle and almost have like a burning sensation, you will hate this one because it does that a lot. However, it makes your lips look fabulous. For the last step, I'm just going to put on some Benefit Roller Lash for my mascara and then I'll be right back. Okay, so really quickly off camera, 
I went ahead and applied my Benefit Roller Lash to my eyelashes. I'm going to be doing some fake freckles with this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. I honestly think this is a knockoff. I got it off um, eBay. You do not have to do this. It is totally optional. What I like to do is I like to kind of like twist it around and warm it up on my hand because this pencil is a little bit stiff. Um, it's better if it's sharper, but I don't know where my sharpener is and I can't be bothered to find it right now. And then um, what I like to do is I just like to focus it on my nose and just be making tiny, tiny little dots. And then I like to kind of make them a little more um, dispersed and like, what would you call it, just spaced out um, on my cheeks. People get like really upset when people do fake freckles, but I have freckles. Um, they're pretty light, but I already have freckles on my nose, and so I'm kind of like, I'm just like enhancing my own freckles, I guess. Also, like, the argument I hear is like, I was, I've, I'm a freckly person, and I grew up being bullied for my freckles. Well, guess what? I've never bullied anyone for their freckles because I have freckles and freckles are beautiful and I'm sorry if someone bullied you for having freckles because guess what? They're gorgeous. But um, yeah, for any of you watching this, please don't be upset. Like, I, I like freckles. I have freckles. Once you have your desired amount of freckles, I like to just take my finger and just kind of pat over them just to soften them and make them look a little bit more natural. Just makes it blend in with your skin a little bit better. Oh, I forgot to say, this is in the shade uh, Caramel. I at one point thought this was the right color for me for my eyebrows, it is not. It, it's been a long journey finding the correct brow routine. <laughs> now, actual last step, I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. Um, I just think it looks really nice and fresh and natural and glowy. Um, just everything that spring is. And that was my goal. Um, also super duper easy. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. I always have a ton of fun doing them. Um, and yeah, just thanks for sticking around everyone and giving me all of your support. And it's just, it means so much to me. And I just, I love creating content for you guys, but uh, yeah. Anyway, again, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.